Uh, the decadal report uh, looks at the global climate in the decade 2011 to 2020 uh, and places this in a uh, longer term climate context, looking at how uh, the climate of the decade is different from what has come before, uh, what changes we're seeing and what significant things we saw during the decade. The decadal report uh, takes a longer term perspective than WMO's other reports. Uh, 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 when we're looking at a period of a decade, we get a much clearer picture of uh, uh, how things are changing in the broader climate system. Uh, you know, a lot of parts of the climate system fluctuate from year to year, uh, but uh, when we average over a period of 10 years, we see a lot of those longer term trends uh, emerging. <laughs> Well, key takeaways from the report are that uh, uh, you know, we are seeing ongoing climate change, which is affecting uh, all parts of the climate system. Uh, you know, many of the indicators we are reporting in this report show a, a very clear uh, trend, which is driven by increased levels of greenhouse gases. And for some indicators, we're seeing uh, those trends accelerate areas, such as uh, uh, loss of glacial ice and sea level rise, we see a fairly clear uh, acceleration of the longer term trends. Uh, for other indicators, that is less clear, but uh, uh, it demonstrates the, you know, the strong climate change signals we're seeing across the climate system. Yeah, those changes we are seeing are also having uh, many impacts uh, uh, you know, on human systems, uh, you know, affecting uh, uh, the achievement of sustainable development goals in many parts of the world, uh, as well as having significant impacts on nat natural systems and the environment. <laughs>